see it right now is uh, this, the uh, Terminator is going right across the middle of the Atlantic. You see that big circular weather belt that goes up across the uh, United States up across the east coast of the United States, covers up Florida, and it appears the subsolar point is in the Gulf of Mexico between Florida and Texas. It's difficult to make out any land masses, and I doubt that you could see any, but with a binocular, I could see Cuba, Haiti, uh, and the uh, Indies, and, and, and most of South America, which is cloud-covered. The central uh, United States appears to be open, and as well as uh, the western United States, as far as I can see. The orientation that our spacecraft is in is at about 90 degrees to our plane of travel. We are pointed up with our axis, our main uh, propulsion system axis, up at the North Stars, so that we, and we're in a rotation called a acid thermal control mode. We rotate uh, 360 degrees at the rate of three tenths of a degree per second. And what that means is that first uh, starting with our right window, passing through the hatch window, and going through the left window, and then passing out to the optics, we have the full Northern, northern, uh, solar, Earth, Moon, plane, and at each revolution, at each revolution, we see the, the the Earth passes through the right window, the center window, and the left window, followed by the Moon passing through the right window, the center window, and the left window, and the Sun passing through the right window center with that left window. Now we're transferring from the Earth to the Moon, and you can see what I mean about the parent diameter. Okay, 10, now we've got the Moon now, it's coming in nicely. Roger, that's the same zoom that you had when you were looking at the Earth, and you can see the apparent size relationship of the two bodies right now. Well, we have a three-quarter moon. I take it all back. Actually, on the monitor down here, 10, uh, the moon appears to be a little larger in uh, diameter yet than the Earth. That's what I said. It's about to twice the apparent diameter to me. And it uh, sort of looks tan still to us. You can uh, see the Sea of Crisis very plainly, all the great seas, uh, Serenity. And uh, you notice the crater structure very clearly with those rough craters down in the southern, uh, southern lunar hemisphere. Roger, we can pick them out on our monitor. How does your uh, color look down there? Uh, the, the black and white is very clear, Tim. Uh, the color looks like it's saturating a little bit on the moon. Uh, it's okay up here, Roger. The moon is a moon is a very bright body from here. Uh, when looking at the moon uh, through the optical system in our spacecraft, within about uh, 15 degrees or so of the moon, the stars are blanked out, so that you can't uh, so that you can't uh, tell what constellations right now. If you're looking this way uh, in the optics. We're behind the moon. Our uh, window system uh, on the vehicle right now is in excellent condition. We can see just as clearly as uh, anyone could ask for on all five windows.
No. Okay. In about an hour and ten minutes, we will be passing from the gravitational potential field of the moon into the gravitational potential field of the Earth. So you can see, even though the uh, moon's apparent diameter is larger, the uh, gravitational attraction of the Earth right now is, is, gonna, is just about to take command. that the moon has uh, several egg-shaped bumps, and if you're seeing those on your screen, they're, they're not real. This is around the edges. This is Houston. Roger, uh, we noticed them, and I uh, guess they're characteristic of this particular uh, TV camera that you're flying. This unit. You can watch the uh, moon uh, pass behind the right-hand window of the spacecraft. It's uh, rotating around, and it, it will be able, probably be able to pick it pick it up through the hatch window. See, it's going behind the window frame right now. Roger, amazing. That uh, shows uh, what our rotation rate is, basically. Uh, Roger, Tim, we've been timing you down here. It looks like about uh, three revolutions per hour. Okay, now we're looking at the moon out through the center hatch window. This, uh, this mode of operation for uh, finding out where you are with relationship to the uh, rest of the world for uh, aligning your platform uh, for knowing your relationship with your velocity vector and uh, having a, a uh, very essential psychological feel for what's going on is uh, excellent. With this kind of a, with this kind of an operation, we always know where we are and where we're going, and we even more important, we know where to go to look for the stars, which we use to align our platform. And uh, that's necessary for us to perform all our navigational maneuvers and corrections. But right now we're set up on a trajectory which is so good that uh, most of our navigational corrections are really going to be very small, it appears. going to be seeing more of the moon as we come back than the earth because uh, we don't really have right now the ability to maintain high gain lock when the earth is in the uh, right is in the right and center hatch window so we're probably going to be showing you the earth only out the left hand window this is Houston or Roger up Behind the uh, center hatch with the now. Ten, this is Houston. We've got about uh, one more minute until we lose you on the high gain. Roger. 